In this video, I'm going to create an AWS application with CDK using Java as programming language. So this would be a complete hands-on tutorial. And if you want to know about CDK theory part, I've already covered that in my previous video. Please check the link in description. So let's get started. I'll create a new directory for my CDK sample app. So you have to use this command CDK in it. And sample app is a sample application and the language is Java. So this will create a sample application in Java language. Let's click enter here. Yeah, it's all done. So you can see that uh, this actually downloaded one sample application from CDK with an Amazon SQS queue, which is subscribed to an SNS topic. And uh, you have uh, various commands such as ls synth deploy diff and docs. So I'll explain to you these commands. Now I have this created. So let me open this project into IntelliJ. So you can see that this is the project structure. So this structure is uh, similar to a Maven project. So you have SRC and inside main you have uh, two Java classes, one is example app and one is example stack. Then cdk.json is the most important file. So if you go inside this, this is the very first line app mvn minus eq compile exec Java. So this line tells the CDK that its current application is in Java and this is using this exec uh, plugin from Maven. If I go into pom.xml, you can see that we have this plugin. This is the first line. Then we have watch. So watch here means uh, to watch out for changes in our file. And this really helps in the hot swapping. So I'll cover this in my future videos. And this context is nothing but few flags which are being used. This cdk.json is really important. So this is the file which is checked when you call any of the cdk command, let's say cdk synth or cdk deploy. So if this file is not there, then you are bound to get an error. Okay, now let's check the example app. So you can see that in example app, we have uh, a main method and we are creating a new CDK example stack and we are passing the app in built app, which is there and uh, ID of the stack. So this is our CDK example stack. This class contains all the constructs which we want to create. Here you can see that uh, this example app has one queue created with ID as CDK example queue and visibility timeout of 300 seconds. Then there's one topic also cdk example topic and the display name is this now since we already have these two constructs with us so how can we deploy our applications so i'll go to the terminal now let's just you know open this project first of all uh, what i would be doing is i'll be calling cdk synth here so this would be converting my cdk app which is written in my java to cloud formation template i'll just write this and click enter so you can see that this has uh, given me the cloud formation template and if I minimize this and if I try to just reload from disk. So here you will see that we got one new folder here cdk.out. So this is the cdk output of the command that we executed. If I just you know open this you will find that we have this cdk example stack dot template dot json. So this is a json uh, version of my cloud formation template other things like the queue policy and uh, other details you can imagine that you know this 300 lines of template is created from this 20 lines of code not 20 just the 10 lines of code so this is the power of cdk so you don't have to spend time you know looking in, in this json or creating the yaml file you just have to write your constructs here just like the java api calls and you would be able to create the cloud formation template so now since my cdk is synthesized let's say if i want to deploy my application so how can i do that cdk deploy command but as i told you in the theory you should be running cdk bootstrap first before cdk deploy so what does bootstrap does is it will bootstrap your aws environment and it will create a new stack and s3 bucket along with im roles let's just run bootstrap if you want to try cdk deploy without running cdk bootstrap you should be getting an error so let's try that first 
type y and enter so you can see that uh, error is related to our environment being bootstrapped we have not done that that's why we are getting the error so let's just you know run cdk bootstrap so i won't be passing environment details here with the bootstrap command and this would be picked up from my cli configuration you can see that this is bootstrapping my environment so this is my account detail and uh, region so the default execution policy for bootstrap is administrative access so you should have administrative access if you want to run bootstrap so you can see the cdk toolkit is getting deployed on our aws cloud formation so you can see that in stacks i have one new stack cdk toolkit and create is in progress and this should be creating the im roles and uh, my s3 bucket so yeah if you can see here so these are the resources being created i think bucket is already be created so if i go to my s3 console and if i try to refresh this yeah i have this new bucket here if you can see so this is my assets bucket so all the assets that i would be using in my cloud formation would be first uploaded to this s3 bucket and whenever my cloud formation template needs that so these resources would be referenced for this s3 bucket so for now this would be empty i think so when i run deploy template would be first uploaded to this bucket let's go to the terminal yeah you can see the environment is bootstrapped now let's run cdk deploy so you can see deploy first synthesizes the template so first time when you run cdk deploy it should uh, take some time because this is a fresh deployment i'll type y and press enter you can see the topic queue these are being created and if i go to my cloud formation console and if i refresh this you can see this new stack being created so this is creating progress and you can click on events to see the details and guys if you want to change this cdk example stack name so you can anyway go to this cdk example app and you can change this id as you can see the stack is successfully deployed and it took some 99 seconds to deploy and total time is 103 seconds so if i go to my stack here if i refresh this yeah it's green it's create complete and if i go to let's say q here sqs and this is a new q that is being created you can customize this name guys uh, this is default the name if you don't specify and if i open this and click here so you can see the default visibility timeout of uh, 300 seconds here which we specified in our code yeah so this is 300 let's say now the stack is deployed now the new requirement for us is uh, to change this visibility timeout to 100 seconds so let's say if i do 100 here how will you verify what changes you have made and what would be the impact on your currently deployed stack so you have this command cdk diff if i run this this will give me the differences between the currently deployed stack and the newly synthesized template so we have changed in only one resource which is q which property of q is changed visibility timeout the old value was 300 a new one is 100 this is the change so i'm fine with this change i'll just go and deploy my change this should take less time now you can see now we have update in progress deployment time now is 34 seconds because we just updated one of the property of q so let's say if i go to my stack now and if i check here if i refresh this so you can see the update completed here and our stack is updated now if i go to queue here so earlier this was 5 minutes right 300 seconds now it changed this let me just refresh this page click more here now you can see it's 1 minute and 40 seconds which is 100 seconds the last step for us is uh, cdk destroy so that you know the, the resources that we created they should be cleaned up so that we don't incur the unnecessary billings so i'll just call cdk destroy 
I'll cancel this. So before this, let's say uh, we want to see which all templates are there. So there's one command, which is a CDK LS. This will give you a list of templates that you have in your AWS environments. You can see we have only one template CDK example stack. So this template CDK toolkit doesn't count under the actual template because this is the bootstrap template. Now let's just go and uh, destroy the resources. It's called CDK destroy. This will delete all the resources and stack. The confirmation, I'll type Y and enter. And if I go to my cloud formation, you will see the changes. I'll just refresh. Yeah, so delete in progress here. So all the resources would be deleted one by one here. Yeah, you can see that uh, template is destroyed. And if I go there, the stack is destroyed by CDK. So this is it from this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.